It's five o'clock and I'm still here. Not over there where I'm supposed to be on 401 heading to pick up my load. I came back this morning from a mini vacation in Guelph uh, thinking that I would see something in my smartphone you know after nine o'clock but uh, the load confirmation was only ready at uh, three. There was some kind of a problem with the insurance insurance confirmation you know when they ship loads right so it's uh, an excavator so probably costs a lot of money but it's a used one so but anyway so three o'clock and my dispatch calls me and, and says so what are you gonna do what do you want to do because I'm one hour west of Toronto and the place where I'm picking up it's uh, two and a half hours east from me basically you have to go through Toronto and after 3 p.m. that's you know just it's a suicide so I said well either I pick up in the morning or I start driving at 7 and she said well maybe they can wait I said well if I leave at 7 like leaving early it's no uh, it's not gonna make things easier uh, nobody's gonna wait till 9 or 9 30 right so I said let's do it in the morning okay so so I I did research online they gave me the it's a 320 uh, BL yeah I think it weighs uh, 42,000 pounds not a very big excavator uh, so I did my research check the specs we good oh and on the way back from uh, US last time I picked up my uh, two new chains I got 10 foot long chains and I got those uh, slip hooks and I got two new binders so now I have a I'm better equipped for heavy machinery because I was running a bit short of um, 10 foot chains so I did my logbook I prepared my bill of lading for tomorrow and I stopped by uh, Mark's warehouse to get some uh, supplies so I wanted to show you because uh, I last time I used my uh, gloves I had similar gloves like this and it was uh, drizzling you know like it was like light rain and they they were basically they're no good like there's dirt inside each time I use them like the ones I have now each time I use them just if, even if I handle something clean my hands are dirty I have to go wash my hands because they feel you know nasty so I had to buy new uh, new gloves and a uh, uh, tip I could uh, I could mention here is that don't go cheap on the gloves because those regular fabric ones they don't last more than two days you know so these are uh, what uh, 26 bucks they're probably much cheaper in the states I'm in Canada right so but this is real leather very soft you know and uh, when I buy them I, I always try them on make sure that they're not too tight because then if they're too tight the seams would be gone like much quicker than you know so they're supposed to last like a long time because this is a quality product you know so you want to show you show you want to show up at the shipper looking good you know and then my vest I think the, the vest you saw in the previous video when I was uh, unloading that uh, cat 980m I think that vest is like 10 years old you know I got it when I joined the uh, Challenger my first job and so I saw this at the at the Mark's warehouse and I thought wait a second I need this and these last very long time and I love this this style you see it goes like the, it go you can put it on your t-shirt and they're pretty big you can change the size you can put it on your coat in winter and um, the best ones are like this with uh, with holes in them never buy the solid ones because even these ones uh, you sweat like a pig when you have them on like honestly uh, I don't know what's something in the material there, but it's very produces lots of heat uh, So I just put them like this one on this tank top or let's say if I'm in the port somewhere, right? Like uh, I'll be picking up something on the way back so That's the second thing and then One more item important in the summer is something like this mosquito killer uh, like on this new Mac I find an interesting uh, thing that I don't like is that you know it does have in the sleeper you do have these two little doors right like mini doors with uh, perforated holes so they're, they're supposed to keep all the bad guys away 
uh, like mosquitoes I'm talking about but when you open it there's a big hole at the bottom there like where the door this little door opens at the bottom for some reason it goes away from the from the trucks wall and there's a huge you know like I don't know quarter of an inch like it's no good so if I open it at night you know in some and I'm somewhere near a river or some bushes that's it you know you're gonna be scratching yourself you cannot sleep and so I remember that this is in the summer is uh, really helpful and I was playing still with my camera I really enjoy you know learning learning the this new uh, Nikon D750 it's an expensive camera but you know I don't want I don't intend on, on getting rid of this one uh, and it's very light I really love the feel of this with this uh, prime lens I should have switched to them uh, sooner uh, my all my previous cameras I had uh, zoom lenses you know with, with like f 3.5 f 9.8 those are no good you know once you try something like this like a prime lens you know 35 50 85 millimeter like this is 50 mil 1.4 the picture is amazing if you saw my previous vids I don't know even you don't even have to try hard you know there's so much light coming in so I went to uh, Henry's uh, this my favorite uh, uh, photo store like if you're in Canada that's the best place to go talk about uh, cameras and uh, look at them touch them feel them uh, and I, I I was asking them about this autofocus that's a really difficult thing you know each camera has its own little you know uh, problems maybe I don't know like you gotta learn you do you push the shutter release button before to focus do you not or keep does it keep focusing by itself so you know it depends on the mode you choose anyway I'm not gonna you know tie you to death oh by the way speaking about death some people were uh, concerned about me uh, drinking coffee last time so I'm not gonna drink on camera <laughs> I'm sorry very unprofessional but the guy said hey don't drink coffee it's distracting so I'm not drinking coffee right like whatever you say guys I'm just following the the rules you set up so here's my uh, little booklet totally useless by the way because when you buy a camera what this thing does it tells you exactly what each button is for what it doesn't tell you is how to do something right so why would I want to know all the buttons if I cannot figure out let's say how to make a movie right that's why you need to buy a uh, a third-party book and actually that's what I ordered last time so it's coming uh, Wednesday and I'm gonna be back from the States probably uh, Thursday I think so by the time I get back it should be here so that's gonna be my uh, weekend weekend project also bought this book actually I think I bought it last week this is one of my favorite authors uh this guy you know lee child really knows how to write it's uh, pretty similar to this other guy who's already dead what was his name like he was writing this criminal you know thrillers about criminals uh like the language if you want to learn english like if you know if you're an expat or like me you know if you want to learn english the spoken english you you want to read something like this you know where you can gra get command of the real spoken English you know slang you know colloquialism uh, phrases but this one is great I only just started reading it so this one is what it's called personal Jack Reacher novel and in other news when I was cleaning my uh, uh, the bed of my pickup truck uh, to make that blockbuster how to wash your truck in under in under five minutes I found this one and <laughs> inside it has this weird looking things took me a while to figure out what this is you remember guys do you remember this <laughs> turns out in 2005 I still use the film uh, camera you know where you shoot a film and then you just go and 
that get uh, get that canister with film to the to the shop and they develop it and then they give you this and then you choose which ones to print and I have a contact you know what they call I don't know like this little things here right so you can choose which picture you wanna you want to uh, print and I, I even wrote down here 24 25 21 14 12 you know those are the numbers of the picture and I look at these and I cannot believe this this is my first job at Challenger Motor Freight and I see here my first truck 1999 Volvo and there's a picture of me uh, with my first load it was uh, a rolls of paper huge rolls of paper uh, in a drive and trailer and there's a picture of me driving because I had uh, just the like first week uh, there was a guy I met when we were doing the you know AZ the AZ uh, test I met this Russian guy and his English was uh, you know not good enough so he couldn't understand like when they were going through orientation so he went to the same company to the challenger he was going through orientation and they had trouble with him uh, he couldn't communicate with uh, with uh, instructors you know like because they send us uh, with an instructor first in the city I think it was like three four days and then uh, one week on a long haul in a in a sleeper truck and so they asked me, they said, would you mind just taking this guy along with you? Because since, you know, you both speak Russian, so he was, you know, Russian, of course. So you both, you both speak Russian, so maybe, you know, you can just uh, show him what we want. Uh, and I said, okay. So basically, I became an instructor for one week. But then later on, actually, I did become a real instructor, and I was making some extra money by uh, taking students with me on the road. But that's the interesting, you know, uh, you know, some uh, memories here. And I'm going to show you guys uh, pictures at the end of this video. If I uh, uh, actually wait a second, yeah, there's a disc here. Oh yeah, there's a disc, boys and girls. So I'm gonna, uh, but my Mac doesn't have um, the CD CD uh, drive, and I left the external CD drive in my truck. I'm now in my pickup truck. So I'm gonna do it tonight. So basically, you'll see it at the end of this video. Uh, those, uh, that's how my career began. Those are uh, a rare views at Uncle Sergi when he was what? How old was I there? 43. Yeah. So I just got my license. 42, 43. So the start of my career. Thanks for watching, enjoy. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three.